Today, let's talk about curvilinear motion. Now first, we have some coordinate system. So an x-axis, a y-axis, and a z-axis. Now we've got some point and a vector Let's write down the, the vector describing that point. So that vector would be here. Points there. Let's call that vector R. So that's the location of the point at t equals 0. And at some later time, the point is moved. And then we have a second vector describing the point at this later time. So this vector we'll call r prime. Now from these two vectors, we can write the velocity vector. And formally this will be the vector in the limit that the change in time, delta t, goes to zero. So that's t equals zero, t equals um, we'll call that tau. So then let's call this this here tau. That's a tau. Um, so the limit that delta that tau goes to zero. Yeah, let's just call that tau. Okay, the limit that tau goes to zero, um, the velocity is defined as the change in the r vector divided by the change in time, which we're calling tau. So we can write that this way. dr vector v time. So we've got a good definition here of the velocity it's just the, the change in the r vector with time. Now we, we can also write the speed. And the speed is just the magnitude of r. So remember, a vector has a magnitude and a direction. And the speed is the magnitude of the velocity vector. So the magnitude of the velocity vector is the speed. We can also write the acceleration vector is the time derivative of the velocity vector. Now one interesting thing to note here is that the magnitude of the acceleration vector can be greater than zero even when there's no change in the speed. So you could be moving at a constant speed but still have a non-zero acceleration. How would that work? Well, in uniform circular motion, you have a, a, a particle traveling in an exact circle like this, about a midpoint, and as it goes around the circle, the velocity is constantly changing directions, 
but the speed is constant. So the acceleration is positive because the acceleration vector indicates not just a change in speed, but a change in direction and or speed of the velocity.